This video is presented by the Liquor and Cannabis Regulation Branch and explains cannabis record keeping for retail stores. Instructions in this video will help you understand your responsibilities for keeping records of your products. However, it does not cover everything. Make sure you read the Terms and Conditions Handbook for your license. The handbook is posted on the Liquor and Cannabis Regulation Branch website. It's updated from time to time, so remember to review it often. You are required to keep a complete record of your entire cannabis inventory, including all purchases, returns, and disposals. This is called a cannabis register. An inspector may look at your register to make sure your cannabis was purchased lawfully. The best way to have an acceptable cannabis register is to keep your cannabis receipts and invoices in chronological order, separate from your non-cannabis receipts. A smell jar is a container that allows customers to see and smell a particular type of cannabis. You must keep a complete record of all the cannabis that you have put in smell jars. When opening a package of cannabis for a smell jar, you must record the excise stamp number on the package, the invoice number, the date you purchased the package, the date you opened the package, how much of the package you used for the smell jar and how much remains in the package, and the date of disposal. You're required to keep the original package of cannabis separate from the rest of your inventory until the cannabis in the smell jar is destroyed. If you keep any opened packages of cannabis for future smell jar use, you must keep the opened packages in your locked storage room. You must also keep records of cannabis that has been disposed of. Disposal records should include the type of cannabis, the date of disposal, the amount disposed, how it was rendered inconsumable, and where it was disposed of. Health Canada requires monthly reports on your inventory, sales, and number of employees for their federal cannabis tracking system. You must log into the Liquor and Cannabis Regulation Branch's licensing portal to submit this information. This is the same portal where you logged in to submit your license application. Each month's report is due on the 10th of the next month. For example, reports for December must be submitted by January 10th. More information on cannabis record keeping can be found in your Terms and Conditions Handbook. If you have further questions, talk to your local inspector or contact the Liquor and Cannabis Regulation Branch.